Well, happening today, Alabama lawmakers expected to vote on a $1.3 billion plan to fix state prisons as part of uh, money coming from coronavirus relief, federal coronavirus relief funds. And a vote today means an end to a week-long special session called by Governor Kay Ivey. Mm. Wait 31's Luke Hindash live this morning with what's next for lawmakers down in Montgomery. Luke, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Megan. Well, state lawmakers already checking some boxes on these bills. The House passed them back on Wednesday, and today is the last hurdle, the final vote to get these bills into law, but not maybe without some backlash. Democrats here in the state strongly against this plan to use COVID relief funds in this way, but a Republican led state legislator, things are expected to pass today. The plan gives upgrades to existing state prisons will also replace some older ones. It would also create prison reform, putting more inmates out of prison and onto supervised release. Governor Kay Avi says this bill desperately needs to pass and using these COVID relief dollars may be the only way that the state can afford this plan. The Department of Justice did call out Alabama for unconstitutional conditions in state prisons, and that led to this special session being called. It started back on Monday, and we spoke to local representatives from the Huntsville area here who said they expected it to last about right around a week or so. And hey, that's exactly where we are now with things expected to wrap up today. Live in Huntsville this morning, Luke Hyde Ash, Way 31 News.